We are working it today, or rather working it out today with Stephanie <laughs> Mansoor. She is the founder of Step It Up with Steph. Happy to have you on the show. Thanks, Angie. So you're here to talk about how to work out on the road, and a lot of people do business travel. Yes. And that is a great excuse to not work out. <laughs> right. <laughs> or not. You say you should really take advantage of the yes. workout opportunity. Yes. So especially if you are a business traveler and you're traveling, you know, 50% of the time, that's half of your life. So we can't neglect the workouts for half the time and expect to get those results. And in fact, a lot of my private clients are traveling a lot. And I had one client, she lost over 80 pounds wow. in just 12 weeks. She was traveling half the time and we just fit the exercise and the healthy eating into her everyday life. So let's take a look at your steps. Step yes. number one. Yes, so step number one is mind over travel. So Ooh. mind over matter, mind over travel. So what I like to focus on is putting this so that it's a priority in your mind. So how, what is the, you know, first short-term benefit that you get out of working out. So maybe if you're doing ab exercises, you like how tight you feel instantly. Or maybe if you're doing arm exercises, you like it because you feel like you're, you know, more toned in your arms and you feel more comfortable in the sleeveless dresses. So what's that short-term goal right. that's going to get you to want to do it right away? And then we also need to look at the long-term motivators. So I like to have my clients create a mantra. How do you want to feel? How do you want to look? And what's going to help you get to that goal? So. I love being a size six because I feel energized, I enjoy my workouts, and eating healthy food makes me feel good. And so it's that's easy. A, yes. you, can, you can do like downward dog. Right, exactly. You bring me to my next point. Oh, good. Which is workouts in bed. <laughs> awesome. Workout in bed. Love this. Yes. Okay. So just set your alarm for, you know, five minutes earlier than what you normally would. And if you're lying in bed, you can really work the core just by putting the hands behind the head, tilting the pelvis, and doing some crunches. Nice. You can do this standing too. Too, but you know if you're waiting in line at the airport I've done this but people might look at you funny so <laughs> you're self-conscious when you're traveling you can do this but you can also do crunches in bed uh, before you get up for for meetings and similarly you can do bridges so that would be just lying sure. down on the ground feet as wide as the hips lifting the pelvis up lifting the hips and the glutes up and work the hamstrings and those and the butt cheeks you know we're trying to squeeze everything tone everything do you know what my mom does and this is awesome she does the bicycle remember oh, the, just lay yes. your back and the old yes. bicycle. Yeah, and right? you can step that up even more and do crisscrossing crunches. Oh, that's fancy. With the bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so great workout. In fact, a lot of Pilates really yes. is based on a mat, mm -hmm. so why exactly. not you do it on a mattress? Right, exactly. Don't have to get out of bed. Yes. You have to love this. All right, now also, you say there are full body exercises yes. that you can do, and we have a bit of a prop for you. Thank yes. you to our intern Thank for you. supplying the bottle of water. <laughs> yes, so if you're staying in a hotel and you don't have access to gym equipment, you can use things like water bottles or even towels at your hotel room oh, sure. to really step it up. Yeah, so if you hold these water bottles and just punch your arms up in the air as you're on a business call or as you're walking towards the elevator, just pumping, that's gonna get your heart rate up. So we know that cardiovascular health is very important for energy and also just to help us lose weight. So use a water bottle as a prop. If you wanna hold on to a towel and just try to pull it apart and right. then bring it back together, pull it apart, that's gonna work your just upper back knees. and shoulders. Yeah, exactly, you can do stretches with the towel. And I also love to have my clients go into the stairwell. Now, oh, sure. this seems weird, but and a little scary sometimes, it, yes, maybe. Yes, right, depending. right. As long as it's well lit, yeah. <laughs> but you know, r play a game with yourself. Set, right. your, set a timer on your phone for five minutes. See how many flights of stairs you can run up in that time. And then as a reward, take the elevator down. All right, well, we, full disclosure, we asked the traders to join us for this workout yes. segment. They declined our friendly offer. I don't know why. <laughs> I can't imagine. They said they'd rather watch. Right. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Angie.